welcome to the passing package details for the subject conservation of natural resources cnr it is one of the open elective so which is like uh, providing by civil engineering department to other departments so this uh, subject might have taken by electronics and communication engineering and computer science and, and uh, allied branches and uh, other similar kind of circuit branches so that uh, let me discuss about the simple and uh, easy passing package or how to clear the examination that is a major concern so we'll discuss about how to clear the subject without any further uh, confusion all right so keep in mind points are very important whenever you are writing in the answer book kindly highlight the points so uh, evaluators provide the marks based on the points how much points uh, you are going to provide so please don't elaborate unwantedly so uh, please come to the particular point which is very relevant to the subject yes how can you how can you write the examination i can tell you very clearly apart from that this is more than sufficient to clear the examination without any issues so i am not saying that you have to read the textbook now within one one or two hours if you spend for this definitely you are going to clear the subject with a good score so let's let's get started individually from more like module 1 onwards module 1 is land resources so land as a resource for example land provide food shelter mineral forest and space for development what are the different types of land agricultural land forest land barren land waste uh, wasteland urban land and uh, wetlands these are the different type of land you you may have to give a little bit of explanation regarding each points conservation of land forms what are the different norms or what are the different forms of conservation of land forms we have terrace farming which is already shown here and we have contour plowing this is called a contour plowing or contour farming and we have afforestation and promote more number of trees and more number of plants controlled mining so these are the four important methods of land forms you may get an essay type questions kindly elaborate very briefly what do you mean by deforestation so cutting down the trees of course which causes agriculture urbanization and mining these are the major reasons for deforestation what are the effects of deforestation so deforestation co affects uh, soil erosion loss of biodiversity and ultimately climate change so effect of land uses changes reduced soil fertility of course and uh, it may lead floods and drought and even habitat destructions especially for the biodiversity soil health ability of a soil to support the plant growth that is called soil health what are the significance of soil uh, it uh, promote for or it support for ecological system ecological system support the plant and nutrient cycling for you might have heard about the nitrogen cycling economic uh, agricultural as well as raw material these are the significance of soil so another question is what is soil degradation caused by soil erosion salinity and pollution these are like a major issue of soil degradation uh, it leads food insecurity of course low crop yield these are the major negative impact so what are the soil conservation method so go for crop rotation go for mulching go for shelter belt and also organic farming is strongly recommended here you might have like a familiar about mulching mulching in the sense mulching is the practice of covering the surface of the soil around the plants with the material like a dry leaves straw then grass plastic sheets or crop residue this process is known as mulching it will retain uh, the nutrients okay so that is the major uh, importance of mulching okay so sustainable land use planning so using land efficiently without having the future generation is known as sustainable land use planning so probable questions are explain soil conservation methods effects of deforestation what is sustainable land use planning you can give little bit of example also so that is also one of the plus point coming to the second module so focused on water resources global water resources only 20.2.5 percentage of fresh water is available in the globe indian water resources major major sources river uh, indus valley system you might have heard then ganga brahmaputra and uh, peninsular river so these are the important water resources uh, as far as india concerned then uh, water resource system planning planning storage distribution and usage of water that is called water resource system planning water use sectors domestic sector agricultural sector and industrial sector water deficit and surplus basins deficit especially the areas like rajasthan dakkan plateau these are the deficit area 
surplus area Ganga, Brahmaputra and Basin region. These are actually called water surplus region. So, inter uh, basin water transfer, transfer of water from surplus to deficient area is called inter basin water transfer. Interlinking of rivers, Himalayan component and uh, uh, peninsular component. That is the one of the example of interlinking of rivers. Issues, displacement, ecological imbalance that will be causing, uh, that will be reason for interlinking of rivers. Groundwater, storage underground aqu uh, aqu uh, aquifers, recharge methods, rainwater harvesting. Then conjective use, surface plus groundwater. These are called conjective use. So groundwater contamination, industrial waste, salinity, sea, uh, like uh, sea water intrusion. These are the causes of uh, groundwater contamination. What are the important questions from module number two? Explain interlinking of waters. What is groundwater recharge? Water deficit in India. So elaborate and come to the point. What is uh, what you are going to highlight? Kindly related to the subject. Module number three is based on air resources. What are the composition of air? Nitrogen 78 percentage, oxygen 21 percentage and other 1 percentage. What are air pollutants? Primary uh, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, then carbon monoxide. Secondary smog and ozone. These are the primary and secondary air pollutants. What do you mean by NAAQS? NAAQS stands for National Ambient Air Quality Standard which limits for the pollutants, NAQ, one of the standard. So, as you can see, this is your uh, NAQ standard as of in the last, like last year. What do you mean by air quality index, AQI? Indicated the air pollution level. So, uh, we have different level, like a good, moderate, poor. For example, uh, based upon this code, you are going to decide which is very uh, is good or moderate or poor. For example, if you are getting 0 to 50 air quality index, that means it's a good air quality index. 51 to 100 is nothing but moderate. 101 to 150, unhealthy for sensitive groups. 151 to 200, surely unhealthy. 201 to 300, very unhealthy. 301 plus, very hazardous. We call hazardous. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 levels are there. Effects of air pollution, asthma, lung cancer, acid rain. What are the economic impact? Then health cost. Then uh, crop, uh, crop lost. How do you control the air pollution? We have different devices, technologies upgrading day by day. So as you can see, electrostatic precipitator, we have one method. Uh, it will attract the particle charges and the pollutant will be attracted towards the electrodes. Cyclone uh, precipitator. So we have the cyclone precipitator here. It will be inside the cyclone uh, separator. So there is a like a movement, movement of the particle. So that is going to be settled down. Then scrubbers, just like a filter, it will act as a filter. So smoke and its control. Smoke contains soot and uh, uh, harmful gases. Ozone depletion, which is caused by CFCS. Then uh, leads to skin cancer. These are the ozone depletion. Uh, so probable questions are uh, effects of air pollution, explain AQI, ozone depletion and causes. So coming to module number four, biodiversity and ecosystem. What is biodiversity? Variety of plants, animals and microorganisms. Explain the significance of biodiversity, medicinal value, food security, ecological balance. What are the threat to biodiversity? Habitat loss, pollution, over exploitation. What are the conservation methods of biodiversity? Natural parks, wildlife sanctuaries, then uh, gene, gene banks collection, then social forestry. These are the important methods to overcome uh, the threat to biodiversity. That means these are the conservation methods. What do you mean by ecological restoration? Restoring the damaged ecosystem is known as ecological restoration. What do you mean by ecosystem? System of biotic and abiotic component is collectively known as ecosystem. You can draw the simple diagram and represent. What are the types of ecosystem? Forest, grassland, desert, marine, wetland, and uh, lentic and lotic. What do you mean? By, what are the important questions? Importance of biodiversity, types of ecosystem, conservation of biodiversity. Coming to the last module. Uh, global warming and EIA. Global warming means what? What is global warming? Could you please explain the global warming? Yes, of course. Increase in earth temperature due to greenhouse effect or greenhouse gases. That is called a global warming. Greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, nit nitrous oxide. These are the important greenhouses. What are the indicators? Number one, rising temperature, of course. Then melting uh, glacier is, especially in the Arctic region. Sea level increase, rise in sea level. What are the effects? Number one, climate changes health problems and biodiversity losses. So these are the like indicators and effects. What do you mean by climate change impacts? One is heat wave, other one is floods, other one is uh, disease spread. These are the different type of climate heat change impacts, climate change impacts. 
what are the different agencies with respect to global conservation efforts? Number one, UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Conservation of Climate Change. What is CBD? Convention of Biological Diversity. What is IPCC? Uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. So try to remember these organizations. Environmental Impact Assessment. What do you mean by Environmental Impact Assessment? You can draw this block diagram. Study of Environmental Effect of a Project. What is EAA Regulations? Mandatory for major projects. So try to remember the importance of EAA. And uh, so this peculiarity you have to remember. Objectives are given to promote the environmental friendly and the long term growth, to render retail on environmental impact, to predict and evaluate the ecological, economic, social effects of growth and related activity, identification, legitimates of, uh, and mitigation of measures. So, what are the important projects needing EAA clearance? Thermal power project, hydropower, mining, and highways. These are the important projects. Case study you may expect, like a hydro, explain the case study of hydropower power plant or hydro project you are talking about the displacement ecological impact everything you have to plan then you repeated questions other one explain the case study on thermal power plant so directly if you know the contents you can directly present repeated questions are explain the global warming what is eaa case study of thermal power plant so like uh, please go through these questions also part a like define biodiversity aqa etc in the part B, you can see like a so soil conservation, interlinking of rivers, uh, global warming and effects, all those things you can discuss. So if you are preparing the subject last moment, don't worry. So everything is in your hand. You can manage it. Read the definitions and diagram, which I already mentioned in my PPT. Write the answers in very brief points. Even use keywords and uh, headings accordingly. Then attempt all the questions without any issue. So thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any queries I would like to address. And... Uh, Kindly share the video with the people, those who are working on the same examination or same domain. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, so kindly let me know once the exam is done, you can uh, point out some questions which is available in my PPT also. Just uh, I want to have a, I want to take a feedback. How about my question? So thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the very best for your examination. Thank you all. Happy learning. So let me stop the symbol. Thank you.